What's good YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, uh, basically what we do here is we help people become better Madden players. So if you want to get better at the game, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just keeps you up to date on the newest tips and tricks that we release every single day. One quick thing I do want to let you know about is my Patreon membership. The defense we'll be talking about today, you can find the whole ebook in our Patreon. But basically, that's where I put all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive material. We Every week, we release pro tips that kind of keep you on top of all things meta. We also, every uh, pretty much almost every week or every other week, release a new defense or a new offensive ebook in there. Got over 25 offensive and defensive guides in there. So if you want to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to head over to the Patreon membership. Um, the link will be in the description. So if you want to just click that, that'll, if you go down to the description of the video, you can click that link and it'll be available for you. Okay, guys, so what I want to talk about today is a concept that I've been messing with a lot. And this is a really, really fun defense. Um, it's the loop concept, but it's from a nickel 335 look. And why I like nickel 335 for this is because there's a lot that you could do with these outside linebackers that you can't really do um, in anything else. And so we're just going to come out and, you know, kind of a basic cover for a drop. The setup really here's my coach adjustments i just like to base line if i if i'm not in man coverage you really don't have to do that um, but it is helpful for me and then you want to put your option defense on conservative that's pretty much it and um we're going to show you some pressure here and again if you want the whole coverage behind it if you want some other pressure out of that's really really good you can go ahead and um, grab the ebook uh, which is you get that by joining the membership now a couple things real quick off the bat is we can shift so you're going to notice here when we shift the linebackers this guy right here is going to be in a really interesting position um, to be able to loop loop pressure. So if I wanted to like shift my line that way, then I'm going to have this guy in the loop, and then I can kind of move him like this. And what you'll see is this loop right here can cause some interesting things on the line. Now, another way that you can accomplish this, though, is by spreading your linebackers. So if I just spread my linebackers here, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to Blitz that linebacker off the left side and then QB contain. And then if I stand kind of about right here, I'm just going to get the attention. And you see that this loop is going to come in consistently at the quarterback. It's actually very consistent, these loops are. Um, and I can show you the same thing on the right side. So you see right here on the right side, I just have to get this linebacker outside. So I'm going to spread my linebackers. I'm going to contain. And then now I'm going to, I like to blitz my user. Um, but you'll see here, I'm going to run at the left guard here. So you see you run at the left guard. And that time it doesn't come in, but it does typically cause some really good swap offs and pass offs that are really, really advantageous. Now, another thing that you could do with this is you could shift your line to the side that you want to loop. So let's say we want to loop off the right or off the left here. We're going to blitz this guy, spread the linebackers, QB contain. You see now he's in that contain. We've got two people on his side kind of occupying that guard. And you see that this can come in untouched at the quarterback. Another way that you can accomplish this is through spreading your defensive line, spreading your linebackers, get some really wide blitz angles out of this. And then you'll see here that again, same concept. And a lot of times you'll get these double, um, these double edge pressure type looks from this defense and so this is one of my favorite things to do now another thing that you can do is you can uh, pinch you can pinch your defensive line so if i pinch my defensive line and i pinch my linebackers you'll see that now both linebackers can be loop con loop rushers let me show you my play art here you see they can both be loop rushers and a lot of times what will happen is this can also come um, untouched at the quarterback now this one's not as consistent just because at least in my opinion um, you're relying on kind of a, a more of an animation base uh, type of deal but what I have I will say here like if I do something like this you see how the defensive end still in the contain that's because I have to crash my line down but I'm just saying you know this right here can be something that's really good you see there we get a little disengage e disengage a gap these contain loops are so good in this game and um, they're going to give you different types of pressure one of my favorite blitzes in the game is to blitz both linebackers like this have a double loop concept this is a very very good blitz it's a five-man pressure you see we'll almost always get somebody clean and if we don't we're gonna have probably perfect perfect contain and you can see what happens as a result so there's a lot that you could do with this if you wanted a little bit if you were really worried about contain you could do something like this um, let's say you're playing an escape artist quarterback we're going to drop those guys on the outside into hard flats 
We're gonna put two contains on the field so you see they contain, and then we're gonna use her over the middle. There's a lot you can do with this defense. Most people have kind of slept on this defense all season, and um, there's so much that you could do from a pressure perspective that you might have, you know, might not have realized. So I'll give you another example here. So what we can do is we could kind of set this up like 335 odd, if you will. So you'll see we're gonna blitz this guy off the edge, and then we're gonna crash our line outside. When we do this, what we want to be able to do here is we're going to shift our defensive line to this side. We're going to put this guy right here and create a five-man concept with a backside loop to be able to contain the quarterback. And you'll see here, a lot of times you get these disengaged pressures at the quarterback. Now, this is also really, really, really good if your opponent blocks, let's say your opponent blocks the running back or the tight end, or they block both of them for that matter. A lot of times these loops, they don't really, you know, the, the that actually makes the blitz better, as you can see. Um, so there's so much that you could do with this. I could talk about this for hours. Let me give you one more concept before I take off, and that is going to be the LB loops um, out of a different type of blitz angle that you might have not thought about. Um, until watching this video. So what you can do is you could come over to a play like overload three fire And what you'll see here is if I press coverage You're gonna notice that that guy is on the inside blitz angle So you see here that if I pinch my linebackers and try to get this guy to stick inside This is the same concept if you will um, That a buck slant three type play affords us and so now we can do this from an inside loop and you see how that can give us a little bit of a different animation when you can loop from the inside with your defense on the outside it creates a swap off and it creates a stunt that is really really advantageous for blitzing so you'll see right here again you see how this guy's here now all i have to do is crash my line down or like making the blitz angle a little sharper if you will because i still have that principle of a contain loop and a lot of times you get these little swap offs okay wasn't able to get them on that one but that's an example let me give you one more that I think is even better. And um, it, it's something that I've been running for years in Madden. I've ran this blitz almost every year in the game. Um, and it's just been something that's been super, super effective for me um, over the course of several years of playing this game. And that is this LB cross three. Why this, or um, LB cross three, or you could also do this out of uh, free safety middle um, or SS Mike cross. But LB cross three, what you're gonna see here is you see how this guy comes outside, okay? What I like to do with this, real simple, is we're just gonna pinch our linebackers, QB contain, and then all we have to do is crash our line, um, crash our line inside. So you notice here that this guy's blitz angle is still uh, kind of a wider type of concept, okay? Wider type of concept typically means he's gonna come through that B gap. So it's all about getting wide blitz angles from your linebackers this year. This is a great way to do that. Um, you can see with this with this cross uh, LB cross type of defense One of the other things that you can do is you can pinch your linebackers like this have this guy on a backside contain loop and then have crossfire uh, Blitz angles coming at the quarterback. So you see there one of your crossfire blitzes comes in So there's so much you can do with this. You can do this out of any play in the formation um, One of the best you know plays year in and year out is the loop crash two, which I'll talk about here real quick um, that's another one that you can use. So if you're in the loop crash two, uh, what's good about the loop crash two is you've got that cover two shell, and this is actually gonna create pressure from something that doesn't really look like pressure. So you see you get, see how I get this guy on that, that little slip angle? So if I was to zone him, guess who's on the loop? This guy is. So I can zone him, pitch by linebackers. Now he's still on the loop concept, and a lot of times you see there we get that disengage B gap that is so good. We're only rushing four people. We're only sending four people at the quarterback and we're getting really decent pressure. So this loop crash two can be very valuable for you. Um, and again, you could do something like this if you wanted to. You see when we get this guy on the contain, it makes all the difference in the world. And look at how look at how much pressure we're getting out of that one concept. You can apply this to so much in this formation, nickel 35 odd or 35 wide. And if you want to learn more about this defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the membership, gets you access to everything. It's one of my favorite defenses in the entire game. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the membership to get the whole ebook, there's a link in the description. Head on down there, click that link, it'll take you right over, and you can get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. In addition to that, all of our weekly updates. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys next time.